In your conversation, um, the, the, you've mentioned so many um, daily practices uh, about affirmations and starting your day with something. What do you do on a daily basis to sort of reinforce those beliefs? What would you suggest to the viewers? Should I be starting my morning with a certain thing, certain ritual? Should I be ending my day with something? You should wake up in the morning and just say, I love my life. That's, I wake up and go, I love my life. I love my life. And then I think, oh, I'm going to have a cup of tea now with oat milk. And I love that. And I really make a big thing about, oh, how lovely. I'm going to go downstairs, drink my tea. And then after that, maybe later I'll have a coffee with more oat milk. And I find little things make me happy. I get in the shower and go, I love this grapefruit shower gel. I love having this summer's music. So when you wake up in the morning, you've got to, the first thing you do is go, I love my life. And then you uh, think about what you love. I love my tea. I love my coffee. I love this, having a rage. I love so being more present, bath. being more present in the moment rather than just going through all the chores mindlessly. It, it's really that it's training your mind to go into gratitude, the highest frequency you can resonate at. And when you can feel blissfully happy, like, oh, my first cup of tea, let me savor it. Mm -hmm. I love the moment. And, and and I drink it and I don't and I, I really enjoy it, then because I've taught my mind to be so happy, to look for happiness in tiny things, mm -hmm. I feel happy a lot because I'm always looking for happiness. Mm -hmm. And and I make a point of if I'm eating, thinking, oh, this is super yummy and this is sensational. So I, I don't kind of just eat and I go, oh my God, this is super yummy. This is sensational. This is amazing. Right. Because I've taught my mind to always be so happy and so grateful. Uh -huh. And, you know, I, I was in London a couple of weeks and I woke up. I felt happier just waking up with this great view and this sweet little mm -hmm. cat sleeping right in the crook of my leg. Because it's little things that make us deeply happy. And we're so wow. busy looking for the big things, we forget right. the little things. We whiz through our kids' child and forget what it felt like to hold our little baby's hand, to to notice the first word, the first tooth, the first steps. And right. we're always racing on to the next bigger, mm -hmm. better thing. Trying to make something so happen. If you want to feel happy, yeah, if you want to feel live in bliss, when you wake up, go straight into bliss. It sounds so silly, but you know, if you wake up, in a free country and you've got hot water and something to drink, something to eat and a job to go to and, and a shower to be in and some nice shower, you're already living someone else's fantasy dream right. come true. Right. And that's the other thing I do. If I'm in a situation like I think, okay, you know what's great about this? What would mm. I have given 20 years ago to have this? Today and more what I'm taking for granted like, today. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah someone, your, your life is someone else's fantasy dream come true true that and so true. that's how I start my day I just I just I'm I used to make myself be happy now it, it of course it starts with being what you do and then it becomes who you are and now it's so who I am that I don't even I don't I don't even have to think about doing it because it's who I am Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. As you said, first you make your beliefs and your habits and then they make you. And this has been a blissful con conversation here today. I am sure a lot of people would have experienced a lot of aha moments, re recollecting, that's me, I do that, I should stop doing that or I should start doing that. Marissa, before we, before we sign up for today, what sort of learning resources would you recommend to the viewers in order to continue this conversation forward, in order to continue their learning journey? If you go to marissapeer.com, we have a ton of free products. We have free audios on money blocks, love blocks, health blocks, success blocks. They're all totally free. You can take whatever you like. So go to marissapeer.com and mm -hmm. you can take a lot of free products. If you want to find out how to, we now have people in India that we have trained in RTT, my, the method of therapy I created. If you want to find out what I do and train with me, Excellent. or indeed find someone who's done what I've done, go to rtt.com. So rtt.com and risappear.com where you go to get products and to and learn how to do what I do, if that's what would thrill you. Sure. And we will share all the links for your wonderful learning material, your YouTube channel, your Mind Valley masterclasses and everything else so that viewers can pursue at their own leisure, go deeper into this content. Any parting words for the viewers before we say goodbye today? Yeah, I'm, I've got a book coming out in January called Tell Yourself a Better Lie. And, you know, the book is called Tell Yourself a Better Lie. And I picked that title because I noticed 
that people say that it's glowing, I'm not enough, I'm not thin enough, smart enough, rich enough, and they are lies. And if you're going to lie to yourself, you might as well tell yourself a better lie. I'm amazing, I'm lovable, I'm a trained success, I can do anything, I've got a gift. I've got something to share with the world because it, if you're prepared to lie to us, oh, I'm the size of a house. I've got a memory like a sieve. If you're prepared to tell yourself a lie, mm-hmm. tell yourself a better one because it will change your life. That, that, that's what works for you, right? So if you are going to tell you a, yourself a lie, tell yourself a better lie. Love the title. I love the whole idea of it. I'm sure everybody would love to get their hands on this book. And um, before, I, I would like to share one of my favorite quotes from your books, um, which is ultimately confidence you wrote in order to have real inner confidence and lasting self-esteem you must know feel and believe that you are enough because this realization is very much at the heart of all confidence of all types i love that you must know feel and believe that you are enough and that is beautiful and this conversation today i think has been therapeutic for me and i'm sure for anyone who's listening with a beginner's mind in this series all we ask from the viewers is they put aside their preconceived notions they come with what they call in zen philosophy the beginner's mind and uh, open to new ideas and i'm sure there's been plenty of material here um, in this discussion today ladies and gentlemen this was marissa pay for you let's give her another round of applause <laughs> Marissa, thank you for being here today. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. And you said somewhere words have a lot of power and they can heal. I'm sure this conversation has been healing for many people across. Thank you once again. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Giving you a virtual hug. Thank you.